Hey guys, Dave here from the Manic Miners and welcome to No Man's Sky. So this is episode one of a complete playthrough of No Man's Sky in normal mode and I'm playing on PC. So just a quick backstory before we start, won't be long, but I've been playing No Man's Sky for, I'm currently in 475 hours into No Man's Sky. Uh, I bought the game back in 2017, uh, played it for about 20 minutes. It really wasn't for me at the time, uh, where No Man's Sky was. A lot of things have changed over the last few years. So I started playing it again end of September, early October last year, which is 2019. And uh, yeah, I'm 475 hours in. This game absolutely grabbed me. So what I thought I'd do, I thought I'd jump back to the very beginning and record my gameplay. I'll try and do things some, some things differently, which maybe I made mistakes on on the first way around, and try and do things a little differently than I've done before. But hopefully that you'll enjoy the gameplay. Hopefully that, you know, if you maybe you're uh, considering buying No Man's Sky, or you've just bought the game, or you just want to sit back and grab a cold snack and watch some gameplay of what I think is one of the best games out at the moment. So, without further ado, take a seat and enjoy No Man's Sky. Okay then guys, let's get ready to play No Man's Sky. So, this first video will probably be a bit longer than the other ones that I'll do because we'll get the first part of the game out of the way. So, uh, we're going to press E, which is going to initialize. If I haven't mentioned beforehand, I'm playing on PC. So, uh, the keys will come up different if it's on console. We're going to get thrown into No Man's Sky in the deep end. We've just crashed our ship. Equipment is damaged and we will have to uh, repair it all. They will throw extreme weather at us. They will uh, throw us onto an extreme planet with bad weather. So, uh, yeah, let's get straight into this, shall we? Ooh, this looks a bit hot. Okay, so once it starts doing its thing, we can find out exactly what needs to be repaired, what needs to be done, so we can get off this horrible planet. I'm playing on PC. Um, my PC is very old. Okay, so I haven't got all the graphic settings set up to ultra amazing, but it just goes to show you can play this game on a, a PC, which is probably a good seven or eight years old. Okay, so we're in a contaminated puddle planet. <laughs> so, uh, right, let's get cracking. I'm in third person. Some players like to play in third person. I'm not particularly into it, to be honest with you. I like to play in first person. So I'll swap on over. You can swap if you want to when you play the game. And we are going to... What are we going to do? We have to perform a scan to find sodium. Now the scanner is damaged and we need 75 ferrite dust. Ferrite dust is all over the place on a uh, on any planet that you should find... 90, say 95% of planets should have ferrite dust on them. And uh, as you can see, it says unidentified material, but it does say ferrite dust next to it. Down in the bottom right-hand corner, it is telling us that how much ferrite dust we got. We also need sodium, which I can already see. Right, so we've got to repair our scanner. There's our scanner. We're going to chuck on some ferrite dust. And that's repaired. Now, next thing, we can press C for scanning, and it will show us some. there's some sodium over there. We need sodium very badly. Because if you notice, there's two bars on the left-hand side there. The top one is our hazard protection. That's what protects our suit from being damaged from the environment. And that is powered by sodium, which is this bright yellow plant. So we will stick some sodium onto our hazard protection. We still need more. I can see some over there in the distance. I can see some there, which I'm going to run over and grab. Oh, there we go, look. And there's a distress... distress <laughs> can't even talk. There's a distress signal there, and... You'll notice just on any planet, you'll see these little boxes around here. Got some dihydrogen. Boxes of metal, which we don't need at the moment. And we can up our suit. Some health. 
There was a canister there, but you need a pass for that, and we're not quite that far into the game yet. So we'll get these little sodium plants, and we're going to top our hazard protection right up. Because we don't fancy dying yet. So where is the... There's the signal over there. We'll give another scan as well, because we need to find more sodium. Sodium is quite important during the game. I say it's very important if you don't have any, and you're on a horrible planet, then uh, quite literally you're going to die. Now I'm 475 hours into my save on No Man's Sky, and I have died four times. I've never died in space, but I have died four times, and it's only due to my stupidity of things like um, getting eaten by animals, I think was one of them. Uh, I don't think I've ever run out of... Yes, I have. I've run out of um, hazard protection a couple of times. So it's quite important that you collect as much stuff as possible. And as I was talking about earlier on being in um, first person, I do it just for the immersion. I'm seeing straight out the space helmet, like you would if you were really in the game. And I think that's what this game does to you. It immerses you somewhere that you, you know, gets you out of the real life. And that's what I want in a game, really. So we've got more sodium. We're headed... Oh, look, there we go. We have found the crash site of our ship. And there is a distress beacon over there. Not a good idea to uh, go near these plants when uh, they uh, spit out all their goo. Right, okie dokie. Let's go to this distress beacon and see what it has to say. Boundary separation failure likely. It's been caused by sentinel intervention, deliberate transfer. Fresh... Uh, fresh iteration generated anomaly concept. So we're going to broadcast a signal from this distress beacon. Traveller, traveller, <laughs> holy crap! Traveller anomaly detected. Okay. So investigate the crash ship. It's telling me what to do straight away in the bottom right-hand corner. If you watch, if you if you are playing this game for the first time. Just, it will tell you what it needs to, to be done. Once you get past a certain point, you can play the game as you want, or you can actually follow the instructions of what the game is trying to give you. So the ship is online. Atlas, Atlas connection, intermittent. Launch thrusters are offline. Pulse engine is offline. I find myself in, alone in a strange world, unequipped and in danger. I have no memory of how I got here, no sense of a before. But this ship at least seems to recognise me. The controls react to my touch, or at least that of my exosuit. I'm not dead yet, and this ship is a lifeline out to the stars. So we're going to connect our exosuit, which is our spacesuit, and we're going to connect it to the ship. Right, so it's telling us that we should perform maintenance and select a de desired repair path. So let's repair the ship. So our pulse engine is critically damaged. It requires a hermetic seal and some metal plating. Right. And the launch thrusters are critically damaged. So we're going to exit the ship and... One thing to note, every time you get into your ship, you'll notice that my hazard protection is at full. It will recharge every time you get into your ship, and every time you exit, you will save. So if I was to die now, it would take me back to that save point automatically. So it's all good. We, have, we don't lose so much then. So what we need to do, we need to find metal plating. Well, metal plating is quite easily made. We might even be able to make some now. We won't. We need some more ferrite dust. So we're going to get some ferrite dust. There's some ferrite dust everywhere around here. Oh, look at it. We'll grab that. And it's telling us that we need 50. And we got, uh, is that ferrite dust? That's ferrite dust as well. Look at that. All sorts of shapes and sizes of ferrite dust there. Well, let's grab it. That's a nice big one. Fantastic. So now we can make some metal plating. So we press it. There we go, metal plating. So let's insert that into the ship, into the pulse engine. So we're, is it the pulse engine? It is, yeah. So we can 
there we go. So we just need this hermetic seal, which I don't know how to make. All right, partially complete. Board the ship and consult diagnostics. All righty then. Request assistance. So it's revealed that a hermetic seal is nearby. Salvage planetary charge from the distress beacon. All right then, we'll do that then. So I'm going to jump out the ship, hop over to this uh, distress beacon here. There we go. Take the planetary chart. Now, if we go into our inventory by pressing tab, we have a planetary chart and it says, if you want to plot the route, press E, which we do. And as you can see over on the left hand side there, there's that red beacon. And that's where we got to walk to. So it's a bit of a hike, but it's all good. But make sure what we do before we go over there, we are going to charge up our hazard protection one more time. So it's full. We're going to exit out and we're going to head over there. Am I going in the right direction? Yes, we are. Now I'm going to keep scanning because I want some sodium. And right in front of us is sodium because at this part of the game, this is when they're going to start throwing storms at you and stuff. They want to test your ability to stay alive. And to be able to grab resources in time. There we go. We've got two there. How about that? Super duper. Three. Even better. Okay, so sodium is uh, a bright yellow planet. Uh, bright yellow planet. Bright yellow plant. Uh, we've got oxygen that we also need. Oxygen will top up the bottom bar, our health. So if we do a scan again. We've got these blue plants here. These boost your jetpack. We don't really need that at the moment. There is a storm coming in. As I thought they would do. And there's a nice little animal over there. We're going to race over here. It's quite some distance. We're going to get caught in the storm. There's no doubt about it. Is there any more sodium around? Of course, our scanner's recharging, so we're going to run like the wind. There's some oxygen there. Don't have any oxygen, actually. So hopefully we won't run out on the way over. But we could do with hiding in a cave, but I have never seemed to find any caves when you want them. Where are the caves? You can see our hazard protection is taking a right beating at the moment. We want to stay away from that plant. Come on! I'm going to top that up with some more sodium. Hazard protection. Drop it on. There is no way they're doing that, which I'll show you in a minute. But I really need to get over here. Oxygen. We definitely need that. So we're going to quickly grab it on the way. Oh, my eyes are bleeding. Come on. Run. You've got a stamina bar at the bottom there, and you can see it's just run out, so it's recharging. But we should get there in time. Fingers crossed. There's a shelter and two buildings, so we're going to leg it into this shelter. Just charge our hazard protection up yet again when we get in there. There we go. Look, it's charging straight up. As soon as you get under cover, you're fine. So if I had found a cave back there, it would have done exactly the same thing. And what we're going to do, we're going to nip into this little building here. God, it's nasty out there. I'm going to get some units, which brings me on to a really good thing to talk about in the game. There are three types of currency in this game. There are units, which is just like money for you and me, like dollars, pounds, whatever your currency is. And you will need money to obviously buy things uh, and you'll make money by selling stuff. We'll get into that how to trade later on in the series, but um, it's very important to get money. You don't have any at the moment. If you press into our button, look, we've got 700 units. Well, I'll put this into perspective. A couple of weeks ago, I was modifying a ship on my other save, and I probably spent half a billion. So uh, we've got no money at the moment, but we've got a hollow archive here. We're going to access six out of seven logs are corrupted. Making this record in case... 
leaving behind the fabricator might be some use fires are damaged can't find the ship recover supplies there we go we got ourselves a hermetic seal one hermetic seal super that's good good news and the storm is over thank god for that let's go and have a look in the build the other building over here it's always worth a look and over here ooh, research a specimen and what's that done absolutely nothing okay all right i didn't notice over here there's some damaged machinery we can check that out get rid of all the goo on it and we've got 28 nanites that's our second i was going into currency and i got sidetracked then the second currency is nanites and nanites will buy you blueprints in the game and i'll explain a bit more about that uh, later on uh, but it's a sort of the next tier of currency it's not as easy to get hold as of as currency and there's not as you know it's worth more money and the third one is quicksilver which i will talk to you about later on in the series because at the moment it is really not necessary to talk about that so we're going to charge up our hacks of protection and it's saying at the bottom right hand corner use the analysis visor to locate your starship well, all right then uh, visor needs so we need carbon nanotubes so carbon nanotubes we're going to need carbon and right in front of us is a tree so what we're going to do we're going to shoot the tree and get some carbon there we go so carbon nanotubes Let's go and craft this, shall we? So carbon nanotubes are there now. We can craft that. And then we are going to... We need to put it on our visor, don't we? Which is on... Uh... Multi-tool. There we go. We're going to a multi-tool and we're going to install some technology. And there's the analysis visor. Put the carbon nanotubes on. It may seem a bit complicated, this whole menu system, but it isn't. There's a lot of different shortcuts. And we don't even need the visor, because look, over there, there's our starship. Now we have the visor installed. It's quite handy, because by pressing F on the PC, it brings up the visor, and it will highlight any object in the, in the game. And if you select it with your mouse button, it will scan it, and now you'll be able to tell you exactly what that is. And it also gives you some money. If you see, that's given us 500 units. And that is a... Well, I ain't even going to pronounce that. We can go up to our ferrite here. We can scan it. And it'll tell us exactly what it is. Ugraphite. It's given us 200 units. So scan everything you can possible. Because you're topping your money up. And it's given you an idea that when I look at that now, it now tells me exactly what it is. It's got ferrite dust with a secondary mineral in there of ura uranium so uh what about these big trees can i scan those yes you can right so what we're going to do we're going to it's telling us to return to the starship and continue with the repairs so off we go We've got we're going to need some oxygen definitely did i get any oxygen yeah we drop that onto our life support and if we can find any more sodium and oxygen on the way that would be a definite bonus you can't there's some sodium we're going to grab that and there is some damaged machinery over here which we are going to uh is there any damaged machinery back there at the crash site at the site that i missed i usually leave you something there yes there is what did i get yeah it gave us nanites did it of course it did so what we do we're going to nip over to this damage damaged machinery because it's always they always give you random bits and pieces it's worth going to them and then we're going to get that sodium at the same time just so we can stay alive never have enough sodium let's go here get rid of the goo from there and it's giving us a radiation protection module bonus okay i'm gonna grab some sodium could have scanned that actually to be honest keep forgetting to do that you can scan anything um wildlife's a bonus definitely is that oxygen there it certainly is bob 
We're going to head over here. We won't do too much scanning. I really want to get back to the ship without dying. Uh, because at least when I'm back at the ship, I can keep nipping and out of it. Oh, look at this. There's some little drops of items here that we can... What are we going to grab in here? Carbon. Oxygen. Condensed carbon. Already done that one. And I think there was another one over here, wasn't there? There was. There's another couple of these. Now, there's some rusted metal in here. I don't think we need that right now. Uh, gives us some dihydrogen, which is awesome. Um, there is one thing you've got to think about when you're collecting things on your first... Uh, few hours on No Man's Sky, your inventory is not very big. We can change that. We can buy buy extra slots for the jet, um, the jet pack, for your uh, backpack. But for now, you're limited. So don't go picking up loads of junk that you don't need. The most important things really, ferrite dust, oxygen, carbon. Um, definitely need some carbon. Um, sodium, definitely. But we'll get back to the ship eventually more sodium over there can we get up here a bit stuck and you can see there's a quite a lot of sodium up there which I am going to snag I've got to It'd be rude not to and uh, it's on the way we've got less chance of dying and I do not want to die at the moment one two three four Bob's your uncle. And our ship is still this way. It's down there somewhere. And there it is. That's the crash site. Fantastic. More sodium. Going to snag it. But I'm also going to scan it this time as well. Because uh, that'd be silly not to. There is a sentinel over there. And we don't really want to play with the sentinels at the moment. The sentinels are... I said there were three life forms. The sentinels are the police really. They are like a, a, an, a, they look after the systems around here. Sometimes they're aggressive, sometimes they're not. Uh, but it's best not to chance it at the moment because we don't want to play with them at the moment. Uh, we're not really well tooled up and we've got things to do. We can go play with sentinels, but we will do. Okay, can't get to the barrels because there's an atlas pass required, which is uh, later on in the game. Uh, Scan that shiny thing over there. Now you did see a building back there. I'm not going to bother with things like that. Our priority at the moment is to fix this ship. So we have got to repair the pulse engine. So we're going to go to the starship and we need the hermetic seal, which we'll chuck in. And we have repaired the pulse engine. How about that? But the launch thruster is not good. Oh, that's not good. Right, so repair the launch thrusters. We need to get some dihydrogen jelly, which we haven't got. So how are we going to make dihydrogen jelly? Find dihydrogen, okay. We've got 27 already. Now dihydrogen is that blue stuff that I was collecting earlier. We should collect some more of that. And there's plenty. Happy days. I might just nip in the ship in a minute as well, because uh, that way we can top our has a protection up without having to use any sodium. We'll grab all of this lovely stuff. Super. Dihydrogen is always used through the game as well. It's not just an early start thing. Dihydrogen is always used. Right, so let's nip back to the ship, charge up our hazard protection. And we're going to have that oxygen over there in a minute as well. Right, so we've got 40. Uh, Open the inventory slots, craft dihydrogen jelly. Dihydrogen required, open the inventory to craft items. Dihydrogen jelly. Happy days. So what do we need to use? We need dihydrogen jelly there. And now we need pure ferrite. Now we need to, we can get pure ferrite from anywhere around here. It's a rather large rock. But you needed a, a better mining laser for that. So for now, what it's telling us to do is to construct a portable refiner. So we go into our build menu, which is Z. And we've already got enough metal 
So we need metal plating and 30 oxygen. So there was some oxygen over here, which we're going to snag. One of those, one of those, one of those. Right, and we need some more ferrite dust. That's ferrite dust. We can scan it, but we'll do all the scanning in a minute. Let's get this out of the way. Is that ferrite dust? Yep. All right, we got ferrite dust, so now we can craft a portable refiner. We'll chuck it down by the ship. Uh, da, 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 build menu, and uh, we need metal plating. So we've got to craft metal plating. So, so get one of those. Go back to the build menu. There we go. Now, the portable refiner is a good little thing. You can refine all sorts in there. Uh, but we need carbon to power this, which we collected on the way. So what did we need? Gather ferrite dust from small rocks now. We've only got six, so we've got to get 50. All right, then. That's not a problem. Mining beam will need to be charged. So more before I do anything, the mining beam is charged up from carbon. So I better cut this tree down, zap it, and uh, that way... All the carbon I used on there, all the condensed carbon at least. Let's uh, get the multi-tool out. Mining beam. We can use the condensed carbon. That's even better. Let's get some more ferrite dust. We're up to 20 now, I think it is. 21. Get that done. Get that done. Get that done. Some of that. Right, place ferrite dust into the portable refiner. I'll just grab a little bit more on the way back, might as well. Some uranium, uh -huh. get that. So, this is the input, this is the output. So we want some ferrite dust in there, and it's a one-to-one -one ratio, so we only need 50, so we don't need to make any more than that. So click go, starts refining. And there we go. Handy little tool that is. So let's have a go. We need to put the... Look at that. Launch thruster repaired. Launch systems are online. Let's grab, grab ourselves into the ship, go and recharge our hazard protection. So we've got launch thrusters okay. The pulse engine's okay. And it's telling us that we can pick up and collect the portable refiner, which I know we can. But I'll do some other bits and pieces around here on the planet before we go. But we are actually ready to leave the planet. So all that's done, that's the first part of the game. That's the game telling you what to do, guiding you what to do, so that you can get into the controls. As I say, there's lots of different ways you can charge things up. I charge things up by dropping them onto the items up here. You can do it using X and there is a little battery here where it recharges stuff but i'm just used to doing it a certain way you can do it different ways you can play first person third person it doesn't really matter it's how you feel comfortable playing the game but that's the really important part out of the way we come out of the ship our restore point is saved all ready to rock and roll but for now i think that's a long enough video and uh, i'll be doing more videos on this series hopefully you've enjoyed it and uh, and if you did if you could leave a like, that'd be brilliant because it'd be telling me that I'm doing all right with this and you're enjoying it. Don't forget to comment down below. If you've got any questions at all, if you're new to No Man's Sky or you're thinking about buying No Man's Sky, leave some questions down below. I'll do my best to help you. I always try to reply to all the questions. I love the comments in the uh, YouTube videos. And uh, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to click the subscribe button. Uh, tick the bell because I'm doing videos all the time. Mostly No Man's Sky at the moment, but I do other stuff. But at the moment, it's mostly No Man's Sky. I've got some advanced videos of how to ship find. You might be on to watch those if you're new to No Man's Sky. But at the moment, uh, baby steps, you'll get there. This game is massive. Don't think it, you're going to, you know, get 10 hours out of the game and, you know, get bored of it. Because 99% of you will think that this game is amazing. Because it is. It's, this is a game changer as far as games for, for, for me personally. But I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. And uh, I have. Look forward to doing some more with you. And uh, I shall see you in the next video. So stay safe. Draw. <laughs>